Hey guys, Rob here with Tins uh, Custom Tin Foil and Die Cast Cars. Uh, just decided to make a little video here. I got notification today that a package I've been awaiting has arrived in my mailbox. Now, the f good thing about that is I got to walk uh, four kilometers up to pick it up and four kilometers back to bring it home. And it's about minus 15 today without the wind chill. It's a pretty breezy day for a walk along the Atlantic coast, but uh, I'm up for it and I'm really excited to see what I get in the package. Um, so I. Uh, I'm on my way, and uh, we'll see what happens. We'll, we'll see what I get when we get back. Bye. Hey guys, it's Rob here. Uh, just going to do a mail call. Got a package coming in today. I'm excited to get it. Just thought I'd uh, make a little video. Uh, this is what I got to do when I got to go get a package. I live so far away in the middle of nowhere that I got to walk four kilometers to the mailbox. It's way up around the corner up there. What you see back there that's the atlantic right now it's a little frozen it's about minus 15 today and a little bit windy but uh i need the exercise i put on a few pounds this winter not doing a whole lot of stuff but anyway i gotta go i think about i got about another uh half hour walk ahead of me or so and uh, when i get to the mailbox i'll do a little video of the package coming out and then i'll do a an opening when i get home all right bye. all right so we made it to the mailbox there we go All right, so we made it back uh, with the package. I just finished the coffee to warm up a little bit and I have everything I, I made. A, there was a little mistake when I made when I was making the video at the mailbox. For some reason, I didn't check and see if my phone was charged. But as soon as I went to go put the key in the mailbox, the phone shut off. But uh, there are I did make a video of, of my walk up there, a little bit of my walk up there, just so you can see. And uh, of course, like a kid on Christmas morning, I couldn't leave the package unopened so I, I just went through it quick uh, when I was having my coffee so when I was warming up and I uh, took all the uh, identification off of it except for one little piece of paper that has the sender's name and, and my name this guy who sent this to me is a really good friend of mine we've been friends for quite a few years he's one of the best guys I've ever dealt with on Facebook we deal with each other through Facebook but he's one of the best guys I've ever dealt with and one of the, the best friends that I have anywhere um he sends some really good stuff he has a beautiful collection one of the best redline customizers i've ever met does some really really classy work and i do really appreciate everything he sends to me uh he sends me project cars he sends me things that i can't find here in canada um auto world is a is a is a brand of car that i really like but i haven't never been able to find one here in canada so uh he finds the odd one for me and and sends it up which is really i really do appreciate it but uh, I guess you guys are here to look at the, the cars that I got, not to hear me talk. So let's get to it. All right, guys, let's get into this box. So I've removed all of the labels and everything just for privacy protection and everything. This is the, uh, the, the customs declaration. It came from just a little bit of information here anyway. But uh, I did open this already because like a kid, I couldn't leave it closed but uh go ahead and open it and see what we got in here all right take this layer off here so first off I got this really cool old plastic truck i'm assuming it's from sometime in the 50s really like it i like this old kind of stuff and another jeep I love customizing these old Jeeps, especially the ones with the opening hoods. Another one to go with the collection. An old Matchbox Mustang. One of the original ones. It's missing the little steering thingy, but I don't mind about that. I've, I've always wanted one of these. This one's in pretty decent shape. I love putting Veronica's Mustangs. An old Yat Ming Citation. This one's in really, really good shape. Uh, what's this? An old Play Art BMW. Be a nice little custom. Clean it up a little. And we have a Racing Champions Ford truck. Looks like it's already been customed at one time. Got some plans for that one. And this is really cool. An old Tomica, Tomica Tamika Chevy truck. Do some work on that one, paint it up. Try to keep it as original as I can. Maybe just do a resto resto on it. A couple here is an old color changer Volkswagen drag bus there. 
Mo Yat Ming VW. And they're in the Racing Champions Dodge Dodge truck. It's kind of cool because I have a uh, Labrador Retriever and it's got a picture of a black lab here and it says I love my lab on the back on a license plate here. So it's kind of cool. And we have an old Ford convertible. Uh, never had one of them in convertible style. I really like that. It's a nice old car. And an old, nice color old Ford. Veronica said she really liked the color of that. It's almost like a rose or a, some kind of magenta, maybe. A nice looking car. An old plastic fire truck. I'm assuming it's from probably around the, the 50s. I like that. I'm going to go with my fast fire truck collection. Nice old, uh, what is it here? Golden Wheels police car. Never seen anything like that before. I really like that. Nice little rare piece to go with my police car collection. Oh, Racing Champions Pacer, I guess. Nice for a custom job. Maybe make the uh, Mirth Mobile from Wayne's World out of that. Paint it up, put some flames on the side. I'm gonna be a good candidate for that. For, put with my TV and movie collection. An old uh, Corgi camper trailer. Another one for a nice custom. Do some work up on that one. A Batman Dodge van. Nice paint job on it. Must have been used for a. Uh, Wheel donor, but again, good for custom. I might have an actually uh, have a project for that one in mind already. Old Matchbox Fiero race car, I believe that's what that is. Fiero race car, Pontiac Fiero, yeah. Nice little car. Haven't seen one of them since I was a kid. Oh, what's this? Auto World. Auto World Galaxy, I believe, is what it is. It had a wheel swap on it. Nice looking car. Nice looking car for sure. All right, what do we got in here? Oh yes, got a Johnny Lightning Roadster. Nice color blue. Just got to reattach that windshield there. No problem. And we have in here a couple smaller cars, a Ravel Exax 57 Chevy, had a couple of these when I was a kid, I had a Corvette, a red Corvette, this one, and uh, I believe a BMW, and this little HO Jeep Cherokee here, I thought that was kind of cool, I like these little old cars, I'd have to maybe make a grill for it, but no problem. Cool little piece. Okay, and we got ourselves a another Johnny Lightning Roadster in white. Nice looking car. I really like that one. Right. Down here we got the Ford a Candeline Camper, and we got it in. Weathered, dirty. And I don't have that one. I have, I don't know, almost 20 of these vans here. Didn't have this one, so thought I'd pick it up. Really nice one. I love these. I love these Ford vans. All right, let's see what we got on the second level here. Oh my, some goodies down here. Johnny Lightning's the, the, the topper. Johnny Lightnings, this is a custom tornado, a tornado. I really like that. I like the color of it. Got a few of these already, so that'll go with the knot. This is an old, uh, well, this is a custom, obviously, but I believe it was an old Husky Oldsmobile. Do some work on that, get that back up in some kind of shape. Looks like it was made to be like a dragster or something. You'll have to 
fool around with that one. This one here is really cool. This is the uh, Griswold car from the uh, family uh, National Lampoon's vacation going to Wally World. Always wanted one of these. This will go definitely go with my movie and TV collection. Nice little family truckster. And we got a Chevy truck, the Mystery Models Chevy truck. I have you know, three or four of these now, but they're good for customs. Another Jeep, an opening hood. A Racing Champions Buick. It's a nice looking car. Love the color. Almost like a teal or something. Nice little car. Ford Raptor and Camouflage. That is a truly cool truck. I wear a lot of camouflage myself, so now I got myself a truck for my my personal truck for my display. Uh, old Ford. This would be for a custom one. This looks like a John Deere color. More custom material. This is a, is it a green light or an M2? I can't remember. I think it's M2. We'll go with M2. Chevy trucks M2 or Chevy. Nice looking truck. This is a cheap brand old Ford pickup, but I love these old Ford pickups and I do have a plan in mind for this for a, a custom, so pick that up for that. One of my all-time favorite old NASCAR drivers and announcers, old good old BP Benny Parsons. Yeah, this is his one of his race cars, Mercury Cyclone. Let's go with my NASCAR collection, and another one of those M2 trucks. This one I got a plan for for a custom, so it's in a little bit of rough shape, but that's fine because I'm going to be customizing it up. So. Another Jeep here. Got an engine in it. This one's not a closed in, it's a trailer hitch on it and everything. Getting down to the bottom of her. Alright, this is a Matchbox uh, Mercury. Or, not a Matchbox, sorry, Hot Wheels Mercury. Kind of a cool car. I have one already, but I had it taken apart so I can do some customizing to it. But this one here is still all together and will stay that way. Really like that old time car. And another Hot Wheels Jaded Dragster. I got a couple of these too, and I got some plans. I want to actually turn one into the uh, to the street version. Old Henry J. Let's see if I can work on that. Old Hot Wheels Ford truck here. Another custom project going on with that one. And last but not least. Nice green light camper. Yeah, one of the hitch homes. Don't find these too often around here, so. Put that with the rest of my trailers and campers. Yeah, I like that. Alright, well, I hope you enjoyed this uh, unboxing and uh, what it takes for me to actually go down and get the mail. It was a nice little walk. It was cold. Sorry that the video turned off. As soon as I got to the mailbox, but the uh, I guess the phone just decided that it had 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 enough. So anyway, we'll uh, maybe do this again next time. I got a a package coming, and uh, thanks for watching. Talk to you.